We are so excited. New this morning, Evil Dead the Musical is back for its eighth season at the City Theater. The performance is equally as hilarious and spooky, telling the tale of a boy who unleashes an ancient evil spirit while on a weekend getaway with his friends. This morning, I am joined by the producer and director of the musical, Jamie Waro. Thanks so much for being here. We're going to have a performance in just a bit, but for folks not familiar with the show, tell me a little bit about it. Absolutely. Um, Evil Dead the Musical is a spoof of the horror films that originated here in the Detroit area through Sam Raimi and its star Bruce Campbell, who I understand was just here recently. Um, it's a, 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 if, even if you don't know the movies or if you just like horror, this is a fun way to celebrate that genre by going into the city theater and seeing um, a musical campy fun ride with a lot of blood. So <laughs> um, that would be one reason to come see the musical. Yeah, this is coming back year after year. What is the secret to success? Why do people love this? You know, it, it's kind of it, it has developed a following. We've been producing at the city theater now. This is its eighth uh, time in the city. And uh, every year we get return um, guests coming back over and over with their white shirts, looking to sit in the splatter zone, which I should explain is- Yes, please tell <laughs> us about that. <laughs> the, the first uh, five to six rows are designed to be uh, incorporated into the uh, set as part of the blood effects. So they have their Evil Dead the Musical white shirts, they sit in the front row, and they get uh, splattered by our blood effects. That is so cool. Tell me how someone can get tickets to the show. You can get tickets at the Hockey Town Cafe. You can get tickets online through uh, Ticketmaster. Um, you can check out our Facebook page. There's links all over the place. All right, so all of those dates are on our screen right there. We'll put that on our website, wxyz.com. I want to know who we're about to hear singing because we got a little preview. Set this up for me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we have in-house Garrett Michael Harris, who plays the role of Scotty, and Matt Pasek, who plays the lead Ash Williams. And they will be doing a song called What the Heck Was That? when they first discover uh, one of their friends has turned into a demon. Oh, my goodness. All right, gentlemen, take it away. What the heck was that? Your sister has turned into a zombie. What the heck was that? Your girlfriend was a demon too. What the heck was that? She just put my free ripped ever zombie. What the heck was that? I got some shelly on my shoe. Ew. What, what darkness lurks beyond this wooden sanctum? What the heck was that? Dude, these girls been zombified. I cannot take this anymore. I'm getting out of here. No, you cannot leave. Linda Tinkle won't make it, I fear. I cannot stay. I killed my friend. I must go now. You can't go now. I must. You can't. I must. You can't. Ladies out for blood. I can't take this anymore. We don't even know if there's a way back except Gotta for go that damn broken right footbridge. Now. I'll find a road where I'll flag down a van. Just listen to me, no, I Linda won't. can't walk, cannot hike, can't even stand. Then we'll leave her, that's a brand new plan. Yeah. What, what the, the heck, heck was that? that? Time to put an end to this vacation. What the heck was that? that? Scott, don't leave me all alone. Necronomicon, the book of the dead can't occur. Chicks, I'm gone. What the heck was that? It's the Evil Dead. Uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. What I love about this, this is an all-local cast, huh? Absolutely. And we also have Joel Frazee, who's playing Evil Ed, to uh, answer more questions about all the right, Evil Ed, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, he starts off as Ed Getley, um, associate professor uh, of, of scary things and horror. And uh, he, as Jamie said, that there's the, the, the love letter to, to horror movies as well as, as uh, Evil Dead. And, and Ed is that, that man who you start at the beginning of the movie and you say, hey, don't go down that hallway. And then he does oh, okay. and he immediately gets turned and is just, is just forgotten and is an evil person and a scary person for the rest of the show. We all know that moment in the movie where you're like, don't do that. Don't open that door. Don't turn around, right? How demanding is this show for you guys? Very. Yeah, yeah it's... it's yeah, physically, vocally, it's a pretty demanding show. It's a lot of fun, though. I mean, constantly you're just kind of worrying about slipping and sliding all over the stage. 
You might bruise a rib. <laughs> Knees. <laughs> Hence the splatter zone, right? But it has to be fun because you have the horror, you have the laughter, and then it's bloody as well. Is it? Yeah, a little. Anti <laughs> yeah, the entire set. Yeah. Yes. Kind of. So again, tell me where this is all happening and folks can get tickets. It's at the City Theater. You can get tickets through the Hockey Town Cafe box office, uh, through Ticketmaster, and check out our Facebook, Evil Dead Detroit. We love that. How many years have you guys all been doing this? This is my second. Third. First. All right. Oh, your first year, you're a rookie. All yeah. right. We can't wait to see it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.